Hello everyone, today we are with Mr. Shishank from Abacus Overseas and we are going to be discussing the Canada Visitor Visa. We will be discussing who will actually get the visa, what are the purposes it's issued for and uh, who should not be applying for the visa. Hello Mr. Shishank. Hello. Can you talk about the Canada Visitor Visa and what purpose it is issued for? Yes, there are two major purposes. One is tourist visa and other is business visit visa. These are the two different types in the visiting visa. Generally, any can, anyone can visit Canada, but they should have the financial stability. They should have some good, pretty good package of salary or some ample amount of money consistently in the bank account. Bank account. Plus, they should have the proper IT returns and they should have some fixed assets like CA report, all these things. And the major and the most important thing is you having a travel history matters a lot. Like you traveling like bigger countries like London, Australia, Europe, all these countries matters a lot. But many people will have travel history of Singapore, Malaysia, Bangkok, Thailand, Dubai. Even it matters, but it will not give you as much of weightage as this bigger countries. So who should be applying for the visa? Suppose uh, uh, the parents are there which are expecting uh, the graduation of going for the graduation of the child. So is that a valid cause, valid purpose? Yes, definitely it's a valid cause. And uh, the one, while the student is graduating there, the student cannot be sponsor of the parents. So parents should show their own funds, 8 to 10 lakh rupees for mother and father. They're good to go. They'll get the visas, no issue. And what about the case such as they are going for the delivery of the uh, of the son and daughter-in-law or their own daughter? Then they surely they will be working there. Then they can sponsor the parents or grandparents. And if these people have the basic amount or some credibility and some uh, properties in India, we should establish them on the paper to the embassy. Then the then the chances of getting visa is pretty high. Right. Uh, who should not apply for the tourist visa to Canada? Can you explain about this? Sure. I regularly talk to many clients in my office that they'll be having 12,000 salary, 15,000 salary or just returned from Gulf and no work, haven't done anything since last six months or one year. Those people should not apply because the embassy will check your credibility and your financial capability before they issuing you the visa. So they will see a 20,000 guy who is earning in the job after all his expense in India, he can't even save 5 or 10,000 rupees. Those people all over year, they will not even save 1 or 1 1.5 lakh. Those people really cannot afford Canada with such a small amounts. So they can only afford Dubai, Singapore, all these places. So our planning who really wants to get the visa approval they should do a proper paperwork and they should do a proper planning accumulating the money and doing the uh, good it returns on their coming future years and for doing some fixed deposits and having a valid travel reason like even you can say that i'm just going to travel visit and shopping they will approve your visa but for that, our budget, our bank accounts and our financial stability need to match the words. Okay. Uh, so some people are there who are very rich or they have a lot of properties and they have a lot of cash income, but they doesn't go into the books. Can those kind of people get the visas? Uh, no, not really. Everything should be on the paper and at least they can prepare for the visa and they can just get the visas. Okay. And what are the repercussions, the consequences of not getting a visa? Suppose you are rejected. Is there any loss to the candidate who is applying? Yes, rejection matters a lot. Once the student, uh, while let's say a graduate, second year, third year kid visa is rejected, then the student wants to further try for US or Canada. Both the places they need to clearly mention that my Canada visiting visa was rejected. So even in the UK, Australia, they need to mention, they'll ask, have you ever been rejected by any other country before? So here they need to notify them. So that will give them some minus impact. And let's think he only wanted to go to his brother is there. He only wanted to go to Canada and study there. Then he already having one or two visit visa rejections. Then it will put them a lot of pressure. Like it will clearly state the embassy that somehow this student or this client is trying to enter the country uh, just he tried before visiting visa now he's trying student visa so he's a potential immigrant they'll try to get rid of him there the visa approval chance is very low 
Yes. Thank you, Mr. Shashank, for sharing this valuable information with us. Now people are aware of who should apply and who should not apply. And uh, if they wish to apply, the, what documents they would need. Thank you for sharing this information. Sure, definitely. If anyone want to genuinely apply with all, if you have all your documents, like your bank statement with 10 to 15 lakh rupees funds, your last three years I did in sort of form 16 and a little bit of uh, travel history, they will be more likely to get the visas. So if you, if anyone needs our help, kindly do visit our office. Thank you so much.